Hi everyone, Tamir Brock from Trading Tier. Thank you for joining my live trading session. The session is already open and I'm starting with two losing trades. As you can see here, I've got a loser in Netflix over three grand and a loser in Nvidia over four grand. So in total, just over $8,000. The market initially moved up. I did take longs, Nvidia and Netflix. Netflix had some kind of an intraday news. Anyway, both of them failed because of this big spike down. Now, when you have such a big spike down, especially at times when the market's coming down, it's likely to continue. We did see now a pullback and it was a short-lived pullback as I expected because the momentum now is huge. It's down. That's why I added size, added size to my Tesla short. You can see that I've got a decent size of 6,400 shares short. I'm down right now but again the market direction is down and i'm trusting it to continue take a look at airbnb it's definitely trending lower airbnb down is down four percent tesla is down 1.6 percent i'm also short shop shop is down two percent all of them are trending lower all of them are weaker than the market now take a look at the s p we just moved down what was a pullback turned out to be a red candle and we just moved under the lows that's the money time right now starts my money time i expected the market to do that i expected the market to continue the momentum the momentum is very strong to the downside you can see here that the nasdaq is down 1.2 percent the s p is down almost one percent and i expect some continuation that's why when it happens like that when you see something like that happens when you see some red candles big red candles although they did not work well for my long trades again i'm down eight grand i added to my shorts because now i definitely have the direction and when i have a very clear downside direction that's the time to put my money on the stake and add size like I did with Tesla and uh, I actually added to my Airbnb I did not add to my shop trade but um, I kind of like these ones more than I do the other but basically I do follow the market trend and the market trend is all that matters when the S&P is moving down like this you would expect it to continue now I'll be back to my trading room members stay with me right now and let's see how a uh, situation develops because it's a very interesting downside move or should I call it a crash because you know we've been here the S&P was down 0.2 percent or so and right now it's down more than one percent and it all happened in like uh, 15 17 minutes or so so that's a big downside move. The initial move was very violent and now we're continuing to move lower. So let's see how it develops, how the situation develops. I'm already in green. As you can see, I just moved to green territory. Tesla just over three grand. Uh, shop just over $1,000. Airbnb just $500, but it just started. The downside move just started. So I'm expecting a big downside move. Let's take a look at what happens in the market. I'll be back to my trading room members. And of course, I do have to raise an $8,000 losing trade, which, in which I started with this morning. So let's see how the session continues. Okay, traders, I'm back. Uh, we did have a red candle. So we talked about it earlier, traders what was a green candle look at the stopping tail here what was a green candle and you would expect some kind of a pullback when the market is too extended to the downside you would expect some kind of a pullback but what was a green candle a beautiful green candle as you can see in the same five minute turned out to be red and look at the continuation of that look at the next candle another big red candle and the s p is down right now 1.1 percent we continue to move lower. The momentum is extremely important. So when you look at the S&P 500 and you expect a pullback, also think about the momentum. When you have a big downside momentum, it's not that you should be looking for a long lasting pullback. You should be looking for the momentum, which is more likely to push the market even down, more, more down new lows without real pullback i mean there was a real pullback this candle here was all green just a few minutes ago but we continue to move lower and um, i think i should be doing fine i think i should be doing fine tesla finally moved to a new low pull back up a little bit now after moving to a new low but i do trust it to continue shop just moved to a new low 
Airbnb did now a small pullback, but uh, again, I'm waiting for the next move. Those of you in YouTube, if you are in YouTube watching us right now, this is a free live trading room. How about hitting that like button for us? We will appreciate that. It helps our channel. Thank you. I already see some likes coming in. Appreciate that. To understand the momentum, sometimes you could be looking for uh, Fibonacci re retracement. I mean, if I would point the highs here and I will go all the way down to where the previous pullback started, you can see that we had exactly 38.2% Fibonacci retracement. So all the way from here, down here, and that's the topping tail of this previous candle, which was a green candle, just 38.2%. Normally, pullback should be anywhere between 50% to 61.8%. So there was a pullback, it was decent, but it shows that it's on the lower side, it's on the lower level. So it shows that the momentum is very, very strong. And then again, that's why we've seen the same candle turns from green to red and a new low. Now take a look at the last candle, which just a few seconds ago was bright green and just turned red again. Look at that. So again, that's a momentum. That's the momentum speaking. So again, a pullback candle started in green, now turned to be a dodgy turning red and maybe continuation. Now, of course, at some point we'll get a decent pullback. I was pretty sure about the previous one. I, I can't say I'm, I feel the same about what we're seeing right now. At some point we will see a decent pullback. Urban B is looking for a new law, I believe. Target should be very close to 130. Around one point, that's all. Not much. Okay, traders, I'm back. Now take a look at the S&P 500. You can see that um, we continue to come down. Small pullbacks and then a continuation. And then finally, everything worked out. I already took my partial in Airbnb. As you can see, my profit here is just under $4,000 and I'm still riding it. Now take a look at Tesla. It just crashed down. Finally, I was looking for this downside move. I got a very big size trade there. And I'm going to take a partial right over here, over $10,000 profit in Tesla waiting just a little bit to let it come just a bit more watching the buyers and the sellers here i don't want to see the sellers moving up they just did so i'm taking my partial right over here in tesla leaving 400 shares now shop continue to move lower it's not a big mover but it really did well so it reached my target over here i'm also about to take my partial here just over three thousand dollars there we go so my money time did come and that's all based on the direction of the s p 500 it all based on the momentum on the fact that when you see such a big downside move and a continued momentum then you wait then you add size to your short trades i started down eight thousand dollars and i'm already up almost seven thousand dollars in close trades and with my open trades just above seven thousand dollars almost eight so from being eight down i'm up almost eight thousand dollars and that's all due to market direction and momentum Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to sign up to my live trading room where I call my picks live each and every day. Right here below there's a link. And hit that like button if you like us, if you're watching this video in YouTube. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.